We begin tonight with the latest on the threats to the existence of ABS-CBN, the country's biggest TV network. But it seems the show is not yet over for ABS-CBN, at least according to the Senate President. Senator Tito Soto claims the network may still operate even after the franchise expires on March 30. Melos Banos explains in this report. Should pending bills seeking the renewal of ABS-CBN's franchise reach the Senate floor, it has a big chance of getting passed, at least according to Senate Majority Leader Mig Subiri. Maraming sumusuporta sa industriya ng, ng uh, pelikulang Pilipino at saka yung media, siyempre. So, marami tayong ano dito. You have Tito Sen, you have Bong Revilla, you have Grace Post, Mother Works in ABS-CBN. Then of course, um, Sunny Hangara. Um, Hangara. So, and daming sympathizers dito. Senator Nancy Binay, despite her family's past issues with the network, voiced that she would vote for the network's franchise renewal. She said it's not about her, but about freedom of information. But the Senate is powerless at the moment as they await for the lower house to deliberate on ABS-CBN's franchise. That's why Senate President Tito Soto now wants to have a meeting with the leaders of the lower house. But he clarified that the network can still operate beyond the franchise's expiration on March 30. As long as there is a pending franchise or pending bill for, for uh, uh, extension of franchise, they are deemed extended. They can still operate. He said that ABS-CBN will only cease operations if it fails to renew its franchise by 2022. But Senators Coco Pimentel and Franklin Drillon think otherwise. Dapat may legal basis. If that was uh, without legal basis uh, before, I would not encourage it. Well, they need a franchise, so if there's no more franchise, they cannot operate. The Senate said that the fastest time it would take to pass ABS-CBN's franchise bill is three weeks. Over at the lower house, Vice Chairman on Legislative Franchises Antonio Albano assured the network that its operations will continue, as only the Congress has the power to render or terminate franchises. We would like to send that position to the Supreme Court so that uh, uh, we will be heard. For Congressman Jerry Conograles, it's up to the National Telecommunications Commission if it will allow ABS-CBN to still operate. But for House Speaker Alan Peter Cayetano, one of the closest allies of President Rodrigo Duterte, who doesn't want to renew ABS-CBN's franchise, ABS-CBN is supposedly better off soul-searching for now. Reporting for News 5, Me and Los Baños, we are One News. Those pending bills in Congress seeking their renewal of ABS-CBN's franchise are different from what Sol Jen Jose Calido filed yesterday against ABS-CBN, which is the co-warranto petition against ABS-CBN's current franchise. A co-warranto was also used to oust Maria Lourdes Reno as Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Co-warranto means by what warrant or by what reason. It questions the legitimacy of a position, appointment, or a franchise. In Serena's case, her qualification as a member of the High Court was questioned, which then led to her ouster. Now, Rule 66 of the Rules of Court says a co-waranto can be used to question a person or a company that illegitimately holds a position or a franchise. Supporters of ABS-CBN are asking why a co-waranto petition was still filed when the franchise in question is only good for less than two more months. For lawmakers, there are questions of law and questions of fact. On questions of facts, can Soljan Kalida prove that the use of uh, the use by ABS-CBN of Philippine depository depository receipts is a violation of the Constitution? As well, is ABS-CBN's pay-per-view service a violation of its existing franchise? But there may be more important questions of law. A co-warranto questions the legitimacy of a franchise to begin with. Was the franchise granted to ABS-CBN in 1995 Ill illegitimate or is it simply a question of not meeting the terms of the existing franchise? And is co to the right case and the Supreme Court the right venue for these questions? But in the end, the Supreme Court is not bound by anything can and can chart new highways in jurisprudence. As lawyers like to say, right or wrong, the final arbiter will always be right. Vice President Robredo condemns the filing of the co warranto petition against ABS-CBN, describing it as a, an abuse of power. In a statement, Robredo says the move was a form of harassment based on the personal agenda of people in power. The VP also called on the public, especially lawmakers, to stand by the truth and press freedom.
the Supreme Court has given ABS-CBN 10 days to comment on the co-warranted petition of Soljan Jose Calida. This means that the, that the High Tribunal has taken cognizance of the Soljan's petition to revoke ABS-CBN's franchise barely two months before it expires. Marlene Al-Qaeda with the story. A day after the filing of the co-warranted petition against ABS-CBN's franchise, the Supreme Court and Bank in its regular session took up the petition of Solicitor General Jose Calida. The Supreme Court has given the media giant and its subsidiary ABS-CBN Convergence 10 days to answer the petition. In the petition, Kalida asked the court to issue a temporary restraining order to ABS-CBN's KBO channel. He said the channel was used as a pay-per-view for shows like Boxing Fights, which is a violation of the network's franchise, which stated that it should be free to air. He also noted that ABS-CBN violated the Constitution when it offered Philippine depositary receipts to foreigners under the law. Mass media should be 100% owned by Filipinos in the Philippines. Kalida justified why it had to go straight to the highest court. In a statement, he said, The case is of transcendental importance as it involves the most influential network in the country. This prevents courts from the paralysis of procedural notices. But opposition Senator Frank Trilon said he is confused why Kalida needed to file the petition when the network's franchise is set to expire by the end of March. The court will not, by, by, will not rule on an academic question. They will not rule simply for the information of the public. The House of Representatives has yet to hear the franchise renewal bill, which will give ABS-CBN another 25 years to operate. Former presidential spokesperson and lawyer Harry Roque said the petition will affect the chances of the pending franchise renewal bill. Kung sa, sa loob ng dalawang buwan ay eh, magkaroon ng desisyon ng Korte Suprema na may paglabag nga, eh, siyempre, gagamitin nyo ng mga kongresista doon sa kanilang desisyon kung bibigyan siya ng panibagong prangkisa. Meanwhile, constitutional expert attorney Tony Lavinia questioned why the franchise renewal bill sits on the bench. I think si Congressman Alvarez Chair is a good person. I'm a good, good congressman, so he, he must have his reasons. But maganda sana kung ilabas niya yun. Lavinia added that lawmakers may still be testing the waters and how the voters will react. For News 5, Marlene Alcaide, we are One News.